Good evening, welcome to lecture 37. Um, I said I was going to do a lecture on the Messiah, but I've decided to do that the next lecture because I think what I'm going to do now um, will be useful to understand what I'm going to do in the next few lectures. And this one is going to be on the Titanic. Um, it's actually part of a book I'm writing at the moment called uh, The Book of Books which is about books, it's about authors and writing uh, and connecting them to the books that they have written. Rather similar to the book I've written on, <coughs> on scientists, Beyond Science, which connects scientists to their inventions and also um, connected to a book which I've got on the way to being published. It's at the printers, it's called uh, Musical Prodigies, where I connect um, musicians to their instruments. So I can also connect people, authors, to either to the book or the subject matter of the book and various other things within the story. So this shows that there is a, a power within the human being to, to create, uh, to be creative and to channel his energies in certain ways. And I've explained before that this is like part of his mission he comes down to earth as a scientist, or he becomes a musician, or he becomes an author or an actor. There's another book I'm writing about actors um, to show how people have already shown that James Bond equals um, Daniel Craig in placement values, and there are many, 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 many. So within the English language, there's this matrix of people, of dates, all sorts of things which are actually connected and related through the English language. And sometimes I, I use other languages, as you know, and <coughs> they all come together like a web. Um, another book I'm writing is about artists. I do the same thing. We've already shown that Leonardo equals uh, Mona Lisa. And uh, I can show many artists a connection to the paintings that they've done or what sort of painting that they do, the genre. So this book is about um, authors and... Uh, I'm going to I'm going to uh, do this lecture on I call it the Titanic, but it's about the book called the Titan. And the book the Titan was written by a guy called Morgan Andrew Robinson, Robertson, and he wrote this book 14 years before the Titanic sunk. And it's about a book called uh, it's about a boat a ship called the Titan, SS Titan steamship. And it is also on a maiden, maiden voyage, very enormous ship, a bit smaller than the Titanic. The Titanic was about 880 uh, think meters, and uh, the Titan was 800 meters. So, no, it's feet, so I've got it down as feet. 800 feet, and the Titanic was 882 feet. And there are other things which are similar. I've got a list here. They both struck an iceberg. The speed at which the Titan cruised into the iceberg was 25 knots. The Titanic was 22.5 knots. The Titan held 2,500 passengers. And the Titanic held 2,200. Though both had the capacity of 3,000. They had identical capacity. Both ships were, were British owned. Both ships were hit on their starboard, starboard bow, about midnight. Both, both sunk in the Atlantic Ocean exactly 400 nautical miles from Newfoundland, both of them. Both had a severe lack of lifeboats, the Titan holding 24 and the Titanic carrying just 20. Both had a triple screw propeller. So, <coughs> um, and both hit uh, an iceberg. Now this book that was written by Robinson um, became... Um, the beginnings of a conspiracy theories, quite a few of them. If you look on Wikipedia, you can see what some of these conspiracy theories were about, about why the ship, why the Titanic was sunk. Um, was it uh, to stop the opening up of, 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 of the, the, the Reserve Bank in, in America? Was it because uh, some people had uh, insurance um, uh, claims wanting to make? Whatever it is, that the, these sort of uh, ideas came up. One of them, um, was a conspiracy theory which was written about by Captain C.M. Collins in his book The Sinking of the Titanic. The mystery solved 
where she writes about that the, the Titanic didn't hit an iceberg, but struck a low-lying pack ice. Uh, you look up pack ice, you'll see it's also called ice pack, uh, but ice pack is not the usual word because one puts an ice pack on, on a bruise. Um, but pack ice was, is, the, is the, the main name given to, to, to ice that's floating away, broken away from the main, uh, whether it's uh, Antarctic or Antarctica. Um, so, but it's very similar to an iceberg. Basically, both are broken away pieces of ice. One happens to be sort of flat, and the other is an iceberg. And, and I'll give you an idea that perhaps they were the two together, in effect, uh, a possibility. But that is what seems to have happened, and it's quite incredible the similarities that lie between these two uh, two boats. Uh, so the question was asked too. Uh, Morgan Andrew Robertson, whether he was clairvoyant or something, and um, he says no, he says it was just purely on the basis of his knowledge of ships. But that sounds a bit strange, you know, okay, but 400 nautical miles away from Newfoundland, exactly the same number, capacity 3,000. Uh, so I think it's all very accurately, very, or, or very close to being accurately the same. And um, that doesn't make it to be just so happens that he wrote it that way. Would he have had a premonition? We'll see that I have a connection to a premonition, but did he do it consciously? Would he have thought, oh, this is going to happen in the future? I don't think so. I think he wrote the book without realising that he was doing it, but nevertheless, he himself was actually receiving information about an event that was going to take place later on. In other words, his book is quite prophetic, and there are many other books and uh, similar sort of things like films that have been done that, are, that seem to have the, uh, a prophetic nature to them. And some people say, oh, it's conspiracy, people knew about it's going to happen before, well, they knew, knew about the Twin Towers going to fall down, and they knew about the pandemic, and it's all there already been, been, been shown in the past. But maybe these are premonition, maybe these are prophetic, or unconscious prophetical uh, realisations, whether in written form, whether in, in, in the form of a film. And perhaps we need to pay a little bit more notice about these things, and think in terms of, are these cues to future events? Uh, <coughs> okay, so let's show now that not only are the, is the Titanic and the Titan similar by their size and where they in the North Atlantic before where where, the, where they they sunk and things like that. Let's see if there's actually much connections, and that really does push up the idea that this event was sort of part and parcel of the. Um, of this whole um, premonition, you can call it, or, 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 or what was going on. So now, I've, what I've done is I've got all my sheets in the wrong order, isn't that clever? So we're going to start with, I'm going to show you a connection between the, Tita the Titan and the Titanic to the iceberg, okay? So let's start. Again, by now you should have watched my earlier lectures and understand the system. So if you haven't, please do look at the other early lectures because I can't keep going over each one of these four main um, systems that I use. Uh, and also, while you're at it, give me a like, give me a, if you want to subscribe to my, my channel, uh, it'd be fantastic. Um, and uh, share if you can, please. Okay, so the Titans, I'm going to write these out quite quickly. So this is the book, The Titan. Let's look at the name. It's a similar Titanic. It's Titan. Okay, the Titan is 97 in the placement value. It has a normal value of 673, and that's the normal value. And if I add those together, you can see it adds up to 770. If I take iceberg, The iceberg is, has a large value of 378, that's the large value. It has a normal inner value, and these two forms of gamacho are similar because they're both extensions. This is an extension of the placement value, and this is an extension of the normal. So this is an extension of that, and this is an extension of that. So they sometimes occur together. <coughs> this number equals 770, so they're exactly the same. 
the Titan equals an iceberg. And I've explained before, when you get two things equal, then there's an attraction towards them, or there's an opposition, okay? Um, I don't come across many oppositions, but I do. They have the same number, two opposite very things against each other, and they can have the same commutator. Um, so we have the Titan is connected to the iceberg, 770. Let's do the Titanic. And this time, I don't need the, I just need Titanic. And Titanic has a placement value, 76, I'm using the same systems, okay? And it has a normal value of 472. That's the normal value. Same thing I did with the, with the, uh, the Titan, I used the placement value and the normal value. Add these together, that's 8, 4, 5. Let's look at iceberg again. We're going to use different systems. Iceberg. Now this one uses three. We've got 49 for the placement value. We've got 378 for the large value, which we had before. And we have 121 for the normal value. Now, if I add those together, I will also get 548, okay? So, both of them are connected. Titanic is connected to the iceberg. Now, I'm going to show you something very interesting. So, <coughs> I've used this number 770 before. It comes up so much, and you'll see that when I come to do the Messiah as well. It's a very interesting number. Um, and... The number 770, if I were to write it out, 770 equals 268 in the placement value. And the other number we had was 500, 540. Eight. My pen is running out. And that equals 268 placement value. So in actual fact, these two numbers that equate for the Titanic and the Titan, um, they themselves have the same number that link them together. And I thought that was very interesting. Now, the interest, another interesting thing is this. We're going to look at pack ice. use a different pen. Okay, pack ice equals 48 placement value. It equals 389 which is the uh, large value and equals 111 for the normal value and that's the same three systems I just used for iceberg to connect it to Titanic. Placement value, large value, and normal value. And if I add those together, lo and behold, I'll get 548. And that's exactly the same as iceberg with the same systems. The systems that I put them together, placement value, large value, is the whole value. And that's the normal value. I write it as WN for the whole value. And this equals 548 with the same three systems added together, I get 548. So there's not a lot of difference between pack ice and, and an iceberg. They are both floating floating ice. Uh, <coughs> but that makes it a bit difficult to know whether the Titanic hit an iceberg or a pack ice. And I'm going to show you that there's quite a lot of, lot of more connections that we can do with this. Um, let's, for example, we'll take the word iceberg and we'll call it an iceberg. And you'll see we can do that because that's what it is. It does increase the chances that you're going to find something, but I'm finding them with all of them. I'm finding it with iceberg and I find it with an iceberg. So an an iceberg equals 64. Okay, placement value. And Titan equals 64. So I've got another connection, both in the placement value. And then, an iceberg 
an iceberg equals um, equals 516 in the large value and if I add that to its placement value these two together I will get 516 plus 64 which is 580 okay that will call the large value with the placement value with the, with the, with the placement value is the whole value okay and then if I do with the Titanic Titanic and I get, again, I get the placement value is, let's just see, is 76. And the normal inner value is 504. That's the normal inner value. Add it together, it's 580. So now I've got another connection, sorry, between Iceberg and the Titanic. Doing like that. So I've got now two connections for the Titan with an, with an iceberg and two connections with the Titanic and an iceberg. So can we find more? We are. Um, notice that the Titan does not equate with ice pack, um, pack ice. There's no, no equation there. I can't find anything with that. So for sure, the story's got it right. I mean, he did write the story, so he can't get it wrong, can he? So the Titan hit an iceberg, but the question is about the, with the, uh, the Titanic. So we've got two of each at the moment. We've got another one. We've got an, an iceberg that equals 492 in the normal inner value. And if we take Titanic, this is probably one of the more direct ones equals 492 in the large values so we've got a direct one there so we've got with Titanic three now connections with an iceberg um, what about the ice pack can we do more of those well yes I'm afraid we can <laughs> so it does get a bit confusing here we've got two each we've got three with the so we've got two with the Titan and the iceberg and we've got three, but if I take ice, uh, which we're going to do, um, okay, we've got to, just one before that, ice, uh, uh, a pack, now I put an A there, a pack ice, a pack ice equals 49, and that equals iceberg, there we are, another connection between pack ice and iceberg. But connecting it with the um, the Titanic, we got again a pack ice equals four hundred and twenty-three. That's the large value. And now, if I add that to its placement value, these two values here, so I got forty-nine. Add that together, I get two seven four, four hundred and seventy-two. And that will be called the whole value, because I've got the placement value and I've got the large value, 472. And if I take Titanic, we've actually had this before, Titanic, and that equals 472 in the normal value. So we now have a second connection between the Titanic and APAC ice. So the iceberg wins three down to two. The pack ice is two. The connection with the iceberg is three, but that's that's quite a lot too, you know, and even one. So it does give me the idea that this iceberg was probably um, part of the pack ice, that it was the pack ice extended out, and therefore they didn't see the iceberg. They 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 hit they hit the pack ice before they hit the iceberg. Um, it might might have been that there was two stages to this whole thing. Difficult to know because we don't have the details um, but this is a realm of possibilities. So um, however if it didn't hit the pack ice at all then the pack ice remains <coughs> a possible scenario that could have taken place. In other words it was either going to be pack ice or it's going to be an iceberg. The choices were there for the Titanic. 
and if it got just hit by an iceberg, the pack ice was there as another possibility that it could have hit. Um, but not necessarily its reality. So, um, okay, I've got another one on my list as we're going through this in order. Um, yes, uh, for the Titan. We can show the Titans again. We've had two. We've had a third connection between the, the Titan and an iceberg. Um, and this time we're going to use an iceberg. We had it before. And we're going to use 516 as its large value. And it has a normal inner value of 492. These numbers are getting bigger. And that gives me 1008. And if I take the SS Titan, because that was its proper name, full name, SS Titan, and it's got a placement value of 135 PV, and it's got a normal value of 873. That's its normal value. And I've add that together, I get 1000. And eight, the same as that. Okay, so an iceberg equals the SS Titan. So that's its third connection. Now, isn't that interesting that both the Titanic and the Titan are connected to iceberg three times? Um, can't find any more. There's only a certain number of permutations and things that you can do with this SS Titan, the SS Titan, and you can have an iceberg or an iceberg, and that's it. Okay. Um, okay. Now the book was actually originally called Futility, and the book was about the Titan. Yeah, I can't find any connection between Futility and Titan, but I can with the Titanic. This is it. So it goes like this. We have. The Titanic. And that equals 727. That's its normal inner value. Okay. And Futility, which is the name of the book, equals 727. Large value. So was he writing about the Titan or was he writing about the Titanic? That's something to think about. Okay, now, um, what about his connection to the Titan? So, we will show you interesting connections here. His surname was Robertson, so we're going to write that up. Robertson, that's his surname. And it's got a placement value of 126 PV. Oh, um, S Titanic equals 126 placement value. Exact connection. He is connected to the boat, the real boat. So that's him, that's his name. Now we write Robertson again. And he has a normal value of 673. And we connect him to the Titan. Which also equals 673 in the same system, the normal version. So when he's connected to the RMS Titanic, he's connected in the same system, the placement value. And when he's connected to the Titan, he's connected to the same system, the normal value. So. That's uh, another very, very interesting thing about his, this deep connection that he has um, to these boats. He's connected to both. Um, so, what was he doing? He was writing about a future event. Um, I've got a little bit here about... Done that. Okay. Um, some more interesting things. Um, he, there is a hero in both of these stories, 
Um, the hero in the Titanic story is actually a captain of the of the ship that comes along and rescues 705 people and saves them. Now I, I, I'm, I'm, I've done a little bit of work on that but I've got more to do on that so I'm not going to introduce that there but there was a a hero in the story of the Titan and his name was John Rowling, R Roland, I like the word Roland because uh, he's rowing to land um, and he jumps onto um, this iberg and he kills a bear, <laughs> a polar bear, okay? So just to show you some interesting things. Now this is within a story. We're not talking about true live events that take place because in true life someone can say, well, yes, that's, that's something that's really happened. And therefore, as I've said before, the person is born with these connections already in their name. But this person is born in his imagination. So we have a polar bear. And it has a normal inner value of 683 NIV. And John, this is the first name of John Rowland, he says all the four values, his total being, is 47 is the placement value, 257 is the large value, 128 is the um, normal value, and 251 is the normal inner value, and all that equals to 683, okay? He is equal to the polar bear, otherwise he wouldn't be able to kill it. He had to have some equation towards it so he can, he can win. So, just, uh, just one or two more. Um, the fact that, that, they, that a wreck usually sinks uh, is because wreck equals sink. And I'll show you that now. So we have wreck equals 618, normal value. And we have sink connected to that because it has a large value of 295. And it has a normal inner value of 323. And that gives you 816. So, wreck, sink. Finally, the last bit is the um, this idea of a premonition. Now, the the uh, the book was written and published 14 years before the Titanic sunk or set sail, and 14 years, 14 years equals 172. That's the placement value. Now this is not, I don't think this is a wonderful gematria, but it's interesting. It might have something to it. More, might be more to be investigated in this. That equals 172 as well, if I use the large value, because they're both 86. And 86 and 86 is 172. So we see a connection between these two letters, of the SS Titan, connected to 14 years. And one last one, a pro... Min promo. Let's have a look. I'm, gonna, I'm not spelling this right. Pre premonition. I don't pronounce the words right. Premonition. Okay. A premonition equals 899 in the normal inner value. That's a premonition. And then we'll go back to this idea of the keeping the SS. So we've got. The SS Titan equals 135 placement value we had before, and 764 is the large value, and you add that together, 998. So that boat, the, the SS Titan, was a premonition of an event that was going to take place. 14 years later. Something for you to think about. And uh, um, that's just the story of one book. Uh, I, I don't intend to write a lot of things for, for all the authors I'm going to actually use in my book called The Book of Books. But you can see it's not just the connecting of the person with the theme of the book. 
there are some things within the story itself that are interconnecting. Um, but I think this is a rather particularly interesting one because it is uh, it's about in a future event that was going to take place. So give that some thought and the next lecture will be on the Messiah. Uh, that will also be rather controversial and interesting and um, it probably doesn't, it's not going to hit well in anybody's um, mind. It's going to be rather different to what anybody else would actually expect. So I wish you all well and I'll see you in the next lecture. Please give me a like and see you soon.